Assalamualaikum, good day. Uh, this time I would like to discuss on how to find a CDF function or big F uh, from from the table given up top here. Okay, and afterwards we are going to sketch the graph. Yeah. Okay. So before we even start, okay, let's have a new uh, row beneath the exiting table that we have and label it with big F. Big F means accumulative. Um, cumulative probability up until a certain value of x okay so as we can see here okay the the probability of when x equals 0 is 1 over 8 but the cumulative is uh, is 1 over 8 as well okay so because that's just the thing that we have okay so uh, let's move on to when x equals 1 uh, the probability when x equals 1 is 3 over 8 but the cumulative uh, probability is the probability of that x with the one before it so as we can see here uh, when x equals one is three over eight and the one before one is x zero so the probability is one over eight so we, we are going to add them up becomes four over eight which is one over two okay so we keep adding up the probability one by one and then we are going to get these values seven over eight and one Okay, so uh, please take note when you do uh, when you accumulating the probability one by one, yeah. Uh, when we get one at the end, most probably what we are doing is correct. Okay, so you don't have to worry much if you go if you get one at the end. It means that you are on the right track. But if you get something lower or something more than one, then uh, you should be concerned because. There might be some mistake somewhere. Okay, so this is the table. Let's move on doing the function. Okay, so the function is big F and the equal sign with the uh, piecewise uh, piecewise uh, function bracket. Now, uh, a quick tips that you you have to bear in mind that um, cumulative distribution function must start with zero and ends with one. Okay, it means that when we haven't start accumulating something, it means that we have nothing. And then as soon as we collecting the probability one by one, and then the probability are getting uh, are added up, and then uh, almost uh, and it will approaching one at the end. Okay, so when does the probability cumulative probability become zero? Okay, it it the probability will be zero when the x is less than zero okay where does this zero happen it was it is from here it is the first x so when x less than zero it doesn't include zero that we have in the table so the probability is zero it means that it doesn't happen okay so let's move on the next one is we are going for the first uh, for the first row we we are not we didn't include zero so this time we are going to include zero. So zero we include and then up until one. Okay, up until one. Not including one, but until one. Okay. So uh, for this one it means that we include zero. So as as we can see the probability of uh, cumulative uh, cumulative probability up until zero is one over eight. So one over eight. Okay. So, next one is, so if we keep going with the pattern, then we can fill this up easily. X until 3 and then 3 with an X. Okay. Okay. So, we just put a comma and then we expect uh, two new probability here. Okay. Now, so... This one of one over eight. So when it's when the probability lies from one until two, not including two, so the probability is one over two. Oh, sorry, shit is one over two. Okay, and then when the prob when the probability is from two to three, not including three, it means that up until two. So up until two is something something like this. So it's everything. So from our table we get seven point eight seven point 
seven point eight seven over eight sorry okay maybe i should make it larger seven over eight and then this is one bring it a bit three x or oh, maybe this one looks odd perhaps it's better if we write like this okay so what we have on our right hand side now is our uh, cumulative distribution function okay now what i'm going to do is having this copy and put it over here because we are going to get the we're going to sketch them okay so maybe i bring it here and then perhaps make it a little bit smaller okay so that you can see okay now i just uh it's not a requirement to answer the question i just want to just like to bring the function down here so that i can sketch it here for you to see better and then we can do it one by one so this is x this is big f x okay uh, so what we have is uh, we label the numbers first okay so we have zero we have one we have two we have three hmm maybe we can move it a little bit further away one two three better okay um maybe i use different color purple yes now mm, smaller okay now um so we do one by one yeah for you to see better okay we start with zero when x less than z row so um we are going to represent this uh this inequality first it means a dense circle on top of zero okay and then a line going to the left so it's something like that okay so we done we done with that okay next and next is the second one here okay which is zero a dense circle on top of zero and then a empty circle on top of one and then the height is or the probability is one over eight and then we combine the line okay because it's an interval okay uh so we can proceed next one is one a dense circle on top of one and then empty circle on top of two okay we combine the line and the height or the probability the cumulative property is one over two okay now let's proceed the next one two up until three not including eh? so then circle on top of two and then empty circle on top of three and then we connect them and then the probability here is seven over eight okay seven over eight and then uh, draw the line here and last but not least okay let me just drag it a little bit further this one okay so it's a dense circle on top of three and then just a straight line going to the right and then dotted line here and then we label it as one so make sure so this is the completed um cumulative distribution function okay this is the graph the right hand side is the graph the left hand side is the function okay make sure to check whether it's uh, our graph is correct or not okay as i said it must start with zero here zero okay and ends with one here okay so i think that's all uh, thank you for your time and attention assalamualaikum good day